Hello, this is Business Solutions with me, Efua. Now, Christmas is once again upon us and most people are gearing up for a really good time, especially the younger ones who are pretty excited because they'll get new sets of clothing to wear. Today, we are in one of the busiest shops in the central business district of Accra and Mary here is the store secretary. She'll tell us a bit about what goes on in here during Christmas time. Hello Mary. Hello. Now, give us a mental picture of what usually goes on here during Christmas time, now that we are almost nearing Christmas. Okay, during Christmas we have a lot of people coming in buying clothes for their children because during 25th they have to go to church, during Christmas Sunday they have to go to church. So they come in here to get clothes for their kids to wear, to look nice and also they have shoes, they buy them shoes to wear just for the children to look nice to go to church. Do you, they usually come in with their kids or they come alone? Oh, they come in with their kids, that is normally when the kids are on vacation they come in with their kids especially on Saturdays you see a lot of kids in town just to come and fit in the, the clothes so that they'll make sure that this dress is perfect for the child because if they come in if they come in without the kids you give them a dress maybe a kid might be smaller than the dress you give her she tell you she's eight years she give her size eight then she takes you she'll come back and tell you this dress is this this dress is that because with a dress maybe you take it home the way you will keep it here in the shop that is not how the mom is going to keep it there at home. We normally like it when a kid come here with the mom to fit in the dress then they take it away. When do you usually pick in terms of customers coming in? But for now it's look as you are here you have to see a lot of people here but here we are they come in two they come in threes they, are, they go they come in one they go so that is how the whole thing has become. When you ask the story, they don't have money. There is no money in the system because we used to have a woman. She used to buy like three clothes for each each child. But now this year she comes. She says there is no money. She buy only one for each of them. You go like wow, wow, because now the clothes are quite expensive. You ask for one clothes to get 60 cities, 65 cities, she'll be like, oh no, if that, I'm going to get her one or two. Do you envisage that, for instance, you, I, I believe that you probably stocked more for this mm -hmm. season. Do you believe that you actually sell everything this um, season? For now, I would say yes, because the ladies is quite faster than the guys. Because with the boys, it's not that fast. Because as for boys' clothing, you wear shirts, you wear trial, you wear... Lacoste, you wear trousers. So if a mom gets a trousers, she feels it, then let me just get a shirt in addition. That is all. But with the ladies, we have different styles, we have different shapes. I mean, we have different styles of the clothes. You have some is A shape, you have some is straight dress, you have some is skirt and top. So they like buying the ladies varieties of them. The ladies like this, they get three, they get two, but the guys, they only get one. For <laughs> them. <laughs> For them. Mary, thank you so much for talking to us and giving You're us a sense of what, what happens here during okay. Christmas time. The shops are not the only ones cashing into the season. There is another category of traders. Christmas time, there are lots of Christmas merchandise on the market, balloons, firecrackers, etc. But these sellers do not always stock these products. We are here with Esther, who will tell us a bit about what she's selling. Hi Esther. Yeah. What do you sell when it's not Christmas? I'm selling towels and blankets and white sheets, bear sheets, handkerchief, napkins. So why do you switch to these ones? Because of Christmas, I'm selling these ones. After Christmas, I go to the, my own business. So, do you do this every year? Yes, every year. All right. And how is business? The market is much more. But okay. there's a ban on firecrackers. Do people still buy the firecrackers? Yes. So, does that mean that after Christmas or during other festivities like Valentine, you yes, switch yes, and sell yes, other things? Yes. What do you sell? I'm this? selling the cars, wrappers, so and toys. So, it means you have about three different things that you sell? Yes. Three different things. Thank you so much, Esther, for talking to us. This has been Business Solutions. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.